Okay, Algebra 1, and um, it's Tuesday, 4-28-20. And today we're going to look at um, graph graphing quadratics, five points. That's something I'm going to put on your quiz on Friday. And also um, a couple story problems, because we're doing um, basically review of what we've been doing for the last couple weeks today in your assignment. So I want to do a couple of the harder ones so that you could see it. Okay, so... Um, the graphing right here, what I'm going to have you do is we're going to come up with five points and not just three like we've been doing. And so um, we're going to find the axis and vertex and y-intercept like normal, but we're going to add the zeros to it. Okay, so to find the axis, remember, is negative b over 2a. I always write that down, otherwise I'll forget something. So the negative and negative 6 is positive 6. 2 times 1 is 2, and so I get 3. Very common for people to get negative 3 there, and then everything goes wrong. So positive 3 is the first number there. I'm going to plug 3 in here, and so I get 9 minus 18 plus 5. So 9 minus 18 is negative 9, plus 5 is negative 4. Um, this opens up. You kind of know that already, so I'm going to write that down. Y-intercept is the last number, so that's 5. The zeros I need to factor to find my zeros. And I'll make it so that on your quiz it will factor. So this will be x minus 1 and x minus 5 and negative 1x, negative 5x. So just check it to make sure it works. So my zeros are 1 and 5. So right here I'm going to put 1 and 5. So I'm, I'm going to um, I'm going to do this one backwards just for fun. I'm going to do the zeros first, 1 and 5. So I'm going to put a dot at 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Um, the y-intercept's 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, and the vertex is at 3, negative 4, so 1, 2, 3, and down 4. And so my dotted line, because I know it opens up, is going to be about right there. It's not perfect. And this is 1, 2, 3 spaces from here, so 1, 2, 3 spaces from here. I just reflected that across there. There's my two zeros. Here's my vertex. And so now I'm graphing my parabola. And I have five points or five different yeah, points on there because I want you to do all those four different things. It's not in the work today, but I wanted you to see one before you hit the practice quiz on Thursday. Okay, um, this is similar to something that's in the book. A rocket's path is modeled by ht equals negative 16t squared plus 128t, total time in the air. I always draw a picture first. Here's our little rocket going up. And um, total time in the air and the maximum height. So all you do on these problems is you just do what we did over here. Um, you start with negative b over 2a. So that would be negative 128 over negative 32, which equals a positive 4. And what that means is that it takes 4 seconds, and this is in seconds, which is what I meant, 4 seconds to reach the maximum height which means it's going to take another four seconds to hit down. And so the total time that's going to be in the air is eight seconds. And to find the maximum height, you just take the what you got here for four and you plug it in here just like we did here. This is called a minimum because it's down, and this is going to be called a maximum because it opens up like that. Okay, so anyways, when we plug four in here, four squared is six. 18 times negative 16 is negative 256. 128 times 4 is 512. If we add those together, we get 256 feet. So 256 feet would be how high the rocket went. And they can ask you different questions like that, but those are two common ones that they could ask you. Okay, the last one I, I did a little bit ahead. Um, it's uh, x and x minus 3. And I looked at this, and um, it would not factor. And so and I can't use square root because there's a 3 there. So I've got complete the square, or I could use quadratic. And so I chose to use the quadratic and work that through. And I found two answers. I found 8.6 and negative 5.6. Well, a rectangle cannot have a negative, and so that's just gone. And so I realized that x was 8.6. That would be the length, and then 8.6 minus 3 would be the width, 5.6. So they do give you a rectangle problem, and I'd probably use the quadratic to do it rather than complete the square, but that's up to you. 
Okay, so um, anyways, your assignment is um, page 661, go from 9 to 31, um, follow the directions, show steps. Um, there's a couple where all you have to do is put answers in, but most of them you need to show steps and show your work on it. And uh, I didn't give you any graphing, they're all just the review of what we've been doing. Okay, so have a great Tuesday and uh, hope you do really well on that.